right. Can you hear me back there? My husband will be my, my judge of sound. I'm going to warn you that I, if I were a better officiant, I would have timed the float planes. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't mean to look it up. So if it turns out that there are eagles or float planes or motorcycles, I'll pause so that you can hear the crucial words. Welcome, all of you, to the marriage of Rebecca Skilperer and Michael Hardman. August 17, 2013. Mark the date. Oh. I'm Peggy Sturdivant, and I am honored and honored to be officiating. I hope you all appreciate the backdrop, the smell of ripe blackberries.
Rebecca, let me start with what's most important, I think. I love you with all my heart. I didn't know I could want to be with someone forever, which I think you knew about me. And meeting you changed that. Um, when I realized you were the one for me, the only person I wanted to spend my life with was a terrifying feeling. But it was also the best feeling I've ever had. And that's why I'm standing here with you today. No doubt in my mind that this is the best decision I've ever made. I'm so thankful for all the coincidences and choices in my life that led me to walking into the Ballard News Tribune offices five years ago and meeting you. When I first saw you, I knew you were someone I wanted to know, and I'm lucky you gave me that chance. It turns out you were not only beautiful, but the most passionate, independent, smart, and fun woman I've ever met. I feel like you truly know who you are and what you want out of this life, and I love that about you. It's a trait you bring out in others, uh, or at least me. Over these past years, you've inspired me to be the best version of myself I can be. It's a cliche, but it's true. I can say without a doubt, I am happier, more fulfilled, and just a plain better person thanks to you. You encouraged me to figure out who I am and what I want out of life, and had the strength to let me come to my own conclusions. That's not something everyone is able to do for someone they love. It's hard for me to explain just how much I care about you and how much you mean to me. These vows can't even cover 1% of it but I promise to spend the rest of my life showing you the other 99%. So, just one more time, I love you. Okay, I think we need Barry for a little comic relief or something. And now, the rings. to be my lawfully wedded spouse. Okay. So far we've done it without the <laughs> By the authority vested in me, as recognized by King County in the state of Washington and the Church of Latter-day Dudes, in front of these witnesses and eagles, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife, wife and husband, Michael and Rebecca, Rebecca and Michael, welcome to KISS. <laughs>
that's good. Because otherwise you get too much flesh in here. Yeah. <laughs> 